Okay, so with this quick hits, um, I recently also picked up some books by Robert I. Katz, the Towering Flames you know, Survivor series, which is also tied into his Chronicles of the Second Empire series. Um, they have the scope of some of David Webber's Harrington books, and a little bit more of the the actiony feel of uh, Bejeweled, or however you say, like yeah, I can't, I I I mispronounce people's names all the time. Yep, there we go. But yeah, McMaster Bejeweled. So basically, and a little bit of Banks and Hamilton, like people are comparing him to that. But overall, from what I can see. It's basically, um, it has some themes of safe hold, especially with the second series, where you know there's a there's someone that knows you know some of humanity's true background, and but he's using the advanced tech to keep his world kind of like in a more feudal state. Um, this got on my radar because the the samples did catch my eye. And overall, um, it I will not put stuff in superversive unless I know it has a genuinely uplifting ending, and you know somewhat happier ending, which is very rare nowadays. So r the rest of the stuff that I'm checking out, I'll put in general quick hits. Now, it, as I read through the series and I get to the end, if it genuinely has a superversive feel, that's going to go in the superversive playlist. So for sure, stuff that that is freaking uplifting and awesome will go in that list. Other things that are awesome but might not have you know 100% of my wheelhouse that I'm looking for will go into the other lists. Yeah, I guess pick this up to see if it catches your eye like it did me. The basis of this channel again is for me to highlight maybe books that people would overlook because majority of stuff is catering more towards like this is an established IP of Dead Tree Land. You know, that sort of thing. Have a good day, everybody.